Hi everybody, it's me Rafael again and welcome back to Great Time 5 Unit 9 this time. Alright guys, so hope you were all doing fine and today we're going to start by taking a look at the first grammar topic of Unit 9. And this grammar topic is related to I wish and if only, just as you can see over here. Remember, guys, if you have your books with you at home, we're working on page 86, okay? So, first to start talking about these two uh, ways of referring to some specific situations, I am going to show you some pretty funny videos about people and some actions that happened to them or actions that they took and later we're gonna see what we could discuss or what kind of things we could say to those people in the videos okay so watch the videos now and have some fun all right <laughs> <laughs> Snow ride number six. Ready? Here we yeah. go. <laughs> Got a little problem there, Henry? What's the matter, puppy? What's the matter? Oh, well, pretty funny situations, weren't they? Right, guys. So, um, thinking about all the videos and all the, the scenes that you watch it on the video, do you think that the people, uh, after the situations happen, they were happy with the results? Or do you think that they regretted the things that either happened to them or the things that they did to themselves? Hmm? What do you think? Probably all of them, at least most of them, they regretted the situations. Just like the little girl on the snow. Can you remember her? Well, what happened? Her parents put her inside that basket or something and they expected that it would slide down on the snow, right? But it did ha didn't happen and the girl turned over, right? So we could say that probably that girl wishes her parents hadn't put her inside the basket right so we have a real situation that happened but after the situation finished we can say that we wanted things in the past to be a little different and of course we can talk about the situations that happened in the past and we wanted them to finish in a different way or we can also talk about the situation in the present that we're not so happy about, right? For example, a very clear example for, uh, from our real lives right now. Are you happy that you have to stay basically all the time at home? Or do you wish it was different? What do you wish was different right now? For example, I wish I could go out with my friends or I wish I could travel with a um, more safety, let's say, right? So that's exactly what we're going to take a look a little bit more right now. How to build this structure to talk about the regrets that we have in relation to past situations and also 
uh, in relation to our current or present situation, okay? So, taking a look here, let's take a closer look over here. We have exercise number one, and you know the drill, right? So, we're going to take a look at the exercise, and then you're going to pause the video, complete the exercise, and we're going to correct, right? So, let's see number one. So, here we have Complete the sentences with the correct form of the verbs in the list. And then we have the list over here. So we have the verbs understand, not say, can, and study, right? Then you need to check in the presentation on page 85. Remember the presentation on the study guide, that first big text you had over there. So you can go back there and check the sentences uh, as well. And then later, we're going to complete the rule. But, but for now, what I want you to do, pause the video and just complete the sentences. One, two, three, four, with the correct forms of the verbs. Then later, you can go back to the presentation and check the sentences. And then come back over here for us to check. All right? I'll be waiting for you. Good luck. All right, guys, how was that? Was it difficult to complete these sentences over here? Hmm, I hope not. They are pretty easy. Later on, we're going to have a, a bigger challenges, okay? But for now, we had some simple uh, examples of sentences, and you could check them on the presentation, on the text, right? So, let's check them. So... In the first one, we have, I just wish I, oops, I could disappear, right? We're going to check later on. Two, E, only someone understood me. Good. Then number three, if only I had studied harder for that test. And finally, number four, I wish I hadn't said those things to my parents. Let's check. Well done, guys. Very good. So, in this sentences here, we can see very clear situations. So, in number one, for example, when I say such a sentence, I just wish I could disappear, it means that right now, in this moment that I am talking to you, I wish I could disappear and not be here. Maybe because I'm not feeling well, maybe because I'm not very comfortable, okay? So, I want my present situation to be different, right? Number two brings us something very close to this, because the sentence says, if only someone understood me, right? So, this person here, or in the case if it's me who is saying the sentence, I am telling you that all the time, basically, nobody understand me, because I have different ideas, or because I have strong opinions, right? So, I am also talking about a present situation that I wanted to be different, right? Sentences number three and four, they bring us something a little bit different. Because, take a look, number three says, If only I had studied harder for that test. What do you think was the grade or the result of the test? Was it good or was it bad? Probably the result of the test was really bad because if I am saying that if only I had studied, if I had studied harder for that test, maybe my grades would be much better. But they weren't. They were really poor, right? Let's take a look at number four. Number four also very similar to this one here. I wish I hadn't said those things to my parents. So, what is the implicit information here? I said some things to my parents, and the things that I said to my parents, they weren't good, because probably my parents, right, in the sentence, they weren't happy with my words. 
So I wish I hadn't said so. I wanted my past situation to be different, right? So I am regretting an action that I took in the past, okay? Now, we're going to go back here. Oh, and pay attention. Can you see here? Number one and two, we have the verb could and the verb understand, uh, understood, right? Could, in this case here, we can consider it the past of can and understood the past of understand, right? But number three and four, we have the past participle of the verb study, right? Which is studied and the auxiliary had. So, and the same thing happened in number four. We have the past uh, participle of the verb say, which is sad, and the auxiliary verb had, right? Can you remember how we call when I just use, for example, uh, 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 if only someone understood me, is this simple present, simple past, Past perfect, present perfect, what, what is it? Hmm, that's a good question to keep on your mind, right? The same question for had studied and hadn't said. How do we call this in English? Is it present perfect? Is it future perfect? Past perfect? How do we call that? It's important to have these questions in mind and this information because now you are going to complete the rule here on page 86. 86, right? Just me. Yeah, 86. Checking is always very important, guys. So, the rule says to talk about how we would like things to be different now or in the future, we often use I wish or if only in the tense. And the example is sentences number one and number two. So, what is the tense? What is the verb tense of sentences number one, number two? Again, simple past, past perfect, simple present, present perfect, past continuous, present continuous, future. What is it? What's the tense? Okay. And number two, to talk about regrets we have about things we did in the past, we often use I wish or if only in the tense. And this is the situation in sentences number three and four. So, what's the tense in those situations? Again, simple past, past perfect, past continuous, past perfect continuous, simple present, present continuous, present perfect. Wow, many possibilities. And that's exactly what I want you to do now. Pause the video, take a moment, analyze the sentences, and then complete the rule. Come back over here for us to check, okay? Good luck! All right, guys, hope you could find the tenses and remember the names of the tenses very easily, okay? And here we have the rule completed. So, we say that to talk about how we would like things to be different now or in the future, we often use I wish or if only in the simple past. Remember, could, understood, this is the simple past. And to talk about regrets we have about things we did in the past, we often use I wish or if only in the past perfect tense. Remember, had said, no, sorry, had studied and hadn't said. Sentences number three and number four. Okay? Good. Hope you could understand the difference between the present situation that I want to be different or the future situation that I want to be different, but to make the structure correct, I need to use I wish or if only in the simple past. And to talk about the regrets we have about past situations or past actions, we need to use the, we need to use this structure. I wish or if only 
in the past perfect, right? Very important to bear this situation, this uh, rule in mind, because now what you have to do, you have to complete the sentences from exercise number two. And exercise number two tells you to complete the sentences using the verbs in parentheses. So here we have, I'm going to show you all the sentences over here, okay? Just a second. Yeah, here we have all the sentences. So, if only, one example, if only my parents, I don't know, me off all the time, they just don't understand me, right? So, how can we complete the sentence here? Do you think this person is talking about a present situation that he or she wants to be different or about a past situation? Hmm. In this case here, it's, it, it seems very clear that the person is talking about a present situation that he or she is not very comfortable with, right? So, in this case, we need to use the simple past. And then here we have in the parentheses, not tell. So I need to make it simple past in the negative. So I need to use didn't tell me off all the time. Okay, so pause the video here and then complete sentences 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. Remember, either it's a present situation I want to be different or a past situation that I regret. And I use I wish or if only and the simple past for the present situations or future situations and wish or if only and past perfect for the past situations that I regret. Okay, so go there, good luck, and then come back here for us to check. All right, guys, so what was that? Difficult. Was it difficult to differentiate what's the present situation that the person wants to be different or a past situation that the person regrets? Hmm? Was it the biggest or the most difficult point? That's very important because it means you need to understand the whole context of the sentence, right? So let's check. Number two, we have. If only the teacher, my dad, he wouldn't be so angry with me now. So, he wouldn't be so angry with me now means that we're talking about a past situation, right? So, in this case, we need to use if only plus past perfect. So, if only the teacher hadn't told my dad, right? Number three, I wish I up all night. I'm so tired now. Hmm. This is very similar to number two. I am tired now because in the past I did something that I regret right now. So I need to use I wish and past perfect. So I wish I hadn't stayed up all night. Okay. Four. If only my football team occasionally what do we all why do we always lose so is the person talking about the past or about a present very current situation every time they play they lose so it's a present a, a present future situation here so we just need to use if only and simple past so if only my football team won occasionally right Number five, then we have, I wish our teacher us so much homework today. I wanted to go out this evening and now I can't. So, we are talking about our class, which was in the past and now I regret what my teacher did. So, we need to use I wish and past perfect. So, I wish our teacher <coughs> hadn't given us so much homework today, right? Good. Number six. If only I to mom and dad, they wouldn't be so upset with me now. 
and the verb is lie. So the person is telling us that he or she lied to his or her mom and dad because now they are very upset. So I am regretting a past. He or she actually is regretting a past situation. So again, if only and past perfect. So if only I hadn't lied to mom and dad, right? Good. Number seven. I wish my brother something with his mouth open. It is disgusting. So, we're talking about a situation that is very, uh, that happens all the time. So, we consider this a present situation because every time his or uh, her brother eats, he eats with his mouth open. So, it's every time. So, in this case here, I am talking about the present situation that I want to be doing. So, simple past, right? So, I wish my brother didn't eat with his mouth open. And finally, number eight, I wish Annie me to her party. Lots of my friends were invited. Hmm. So here we're talking about Annie, who is going to throw a party. But to throw a party, we need to invite people before. And lots of the friends were invited, but the person wasn't, right? So we're talking about a past regret. So I wish Annie had invited me to her party, all right? Let's check. Were your answers close to these ones? Mm, I hope they were, okay? So, let's check. Hmm. Oh, yeah. I put, I wrote it very wrongly. Hadn't. It's not correct. Let's try again. Hadn't. Told. Now it's correct. So, okay, guys. So, it was a, a misspelling, okay? I put letters in the wrong position. Now it's okay. Well done, guys. Thank you very much. And... We'll be back later to practice some more, uh, some more grammar, not vocabulary. Well, vocabulary as well, but grammar and also some pronunciation tips. Okay. Good luck. Keep up the good work and see you soon. Bye.